Hey guys, Trevor here at Vigilant Guitars. Today we're gonna to talk about multi-scale instruments and how they may or may not be right for you. We've got a really good example of a Mark III beside me here that we've recently completed, and we're gonna go through a few of the main features and a lot of the common questions we get from the shop. So, what is multi-scaling? Multi-scaling is two different scale lengths across one single fingerboard. The longer scale length is along the base side of the instrument where lower frequencies can oscillate more freely and have a better tension across the strings. And the shorter scale length is on the treble side of the instrument where the thinner gauge wire uh, can oscillate better and have better tension at those desired frequencies. So multi-scaling gives you a more familiar feeling in the higher fret region with traditional scale lengths for the first couple of strings. And then once you go down to the lower pitches, you have a more uh, extended range that gives you a huge wide sonic benefit. It gives you a more stable string tension across the whole instrument and allows you to maintain that stability in lower pitch tunings. So, for example, imagine You've got a Les Paul. This is my old Les Paul custom I've got here. Very awesome. It has a vibrating scale length from saddle to the nut, 24 and 3 quarters, typical Gibson scale length. But what I want to do is I want to drop into, uh, say, C standard tuning. What I'm going to have to do for that lower pitch tuning is bump up the string gauge so they're big fat bridge cables. Bruh and really hope that this thing just intonates through the travel of the saddles and maybe working on the nut a little bit. And even once I've done that, it's gonna have a very odd feeling string tension. Um, so this scale length is essentially just not, not the best for those low alternate tunings. So now if we head over to our, our multi-scale instrument, we can resolve some of those problems. Our multi-scale instruments have a one and a half inch fan difference. 25 and a half inch on the bottom, 27 inch on the top and we find that gives us the most versatility and the most comfort as a player. Um, you can have steeper fans but we do find that the comfort may suffer at that point. Um, you can go shorter but this uh, one and a half inch fan gives you the most versatility and we just that's what we've kind of landed on as our preferred style. So you'll notice that there's two different angles on the frets here. They start at one angle and transition to a different angle which means that at some point one of these frets is perfectly perpendicular. Uh, where you place that perpendicular fret will change the angle of the fan. Uh, if the parallel fret is down here in the first position, it means that the fan will be really steep up here. If you put the parallel fret up here, it means your frets will be really steep down here. Uh, with our 25 and a half inch to 27 inch scale length, we've chosen to put the parallel fret right at the 12th. That gives you a nice balance between these two scale lengths. So there's a few things that you should consider though when you're thinking about ordering a multi-scale instrument. One is the headstock. Because you've got two different scale lengths, that headstock break angle isn't a perfect transition. In fact, it has to be tilted a little bit. There is still a 10 degree tilt on our instruments, but you have to kind of twist the wood just ever so slightly in order to accommodate that. And that little twist can kind of limit some tuner configuration options. Another consideration is also your hardware. This is a hip shot hardtail bridge, 18 degree fan. Um, it's some of the best hardware on the market. We really enjoy working with them. Um, it just makes things really simple if it's a hardtail. Tremolos with the added Ooh angularity of the strings just makes things really complicated. So um, there are some great options out there, but we really recommend the hardtail uh, from Hipshot. Now, another thing you have to consider are your pickups. There are companies that make slanted pickups to accommodate for different degrees and fans. However, uh, if you want to use more traditional pickups, uh, we recommend using ones with covers, active pickups, uh, or ones that have blades so that the fan doesn't uh, have any aesthetic or sonic issues uh, with the strings and the bobbins and the, uh, and the poles being irregular from one another. So the last thing to consider is also just the overall shape of your guitar. You can put a multi-scale fingerboard on really any instrument, uh, but we recommend doing it on a double cut because it's a lot more accommodating for the fan. Single cut guitars like Les Pauls and Tellys, you can put a fin uh, multi-scale fingerboard on them. However, uh, there's gonna be a couple of issues that you're gonna run into just with that fan and how it's gonna sit on that silhouette. What is that? Super strats are the way to go. The two models at Vigilant that we offer in multi-scale options are the Mark III and the Heron Bass. They're both really good platforms. We've designed them to accommodate multi-scale. So if you'd like your next multi-scale instrument, give us a shout. Thanks for watching everyone, we really appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe down below. If you have any more questions about multi-scale instrument, get in touch with us at vigilantguitars.com. And thanks again.